Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah, church. He's you guys are not shouting like God has risen. Hallelujah. He's, he is risen. He is risen. Someone tell your neighbor, say, he's no longer in the grave. He is risen. Now let's jump to our feet and give Jesus a shout. Hallelujah. Father, we exalt you. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the sacrifice. Thank you for the Lamb of God.
shatata. Come on, make it loud to your lover. Make it loud to your father. E kato kopesh kataya. Rete kopelete. E komeneto kanana masha na yeka. E kanana mani atoske veli abata.
Good morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we go ahead and give Jesus praise this morning and bless his holy name? What a joy to be in God's presence. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Bible says the heavens and the earth adores him. And even angels bow before him. All right, let's go ahead and give God praise from the very depth of our heart. And every time we have the opportunity to do this, we do this with a consciousness of his awe, of his glory and of his person. He deserves it. Um, he deserves it completely. 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 Give the Lord praise that is due to him. Give the Lord reverence that is due to him. Give the Lord appreciation that is due to him. Begging for it. It deserves it. It deserves it. Oh, we give you all the praise, God. We thank you. Oh, thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. We bless you, Lord. Lift your voice, beloved, and bless the name of the Lord. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Oh, bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. We bless your holy name. Oh, we bless your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, Oh, yes. Lift your voice, beloved, and bless him. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Somebody dislocated his shoulder blade. Somebody dislocated his shoulder blade. I would have loved for you to type in the comment section that I'm the one. You know, sometimes when you give words of prophecy, uh, words of knowledge, people, all right, sometimes, all right, but what I've brought you now is the word of the Lord, that you are healed already, all right, so move that shoulder, you, you couldn't do this before, you couldn't move it towards the back, yeah, go ahead now, move it, and you have been healed, you have been healed by the glory of the Lord, you have been healed, praise God, now you see, people have asked me and said, the kind of healings that happen at your meetings. So why, why don't you project them? Why don't you push, you know, all those things? All right. But it's, it's because the word of the Lord uh, is mighty to save. Amen. Uh -huh. Healing comes through his word. Deliverance comes through his word. All right. Many things can come through his word. Everyone who came here with a form of sickness or the other, I pronounce right now, be healed. Amen. Hey, I didn't hear amen to that. Amen. I pronounce again, be healed. Amen. I am seeing two people. Let me share a story with you. One time, a lady reached out. A lady reached out to our ministry, our ministry line, which they forwarded to me, so I, I called them. Um, a, a guy... I think either the guy or the lady, um, they were in a relationship in different countries. It was both a plea for help and a confession. The guy started getting involved with other strange girls somewhere, and then he, he contracted um, an STI, sexually transmitted infection, all right? And when he came back to Nigeria, he and the girl they were dating, they also, they were singing together, fornicating together. And then he gave the girl the STI. And the guy was in anguish. I can't remember exactly what it was. Either APIS or HIV. It was between those two. It was something incurable. All right. And he said, God is afflicting me now. Um, and I said, well, this, this is not God afflicting you. You went to look for what is not lost. All right. And I said, as a sign that God is mighty to save, the girl 
the one who is not the one reaching out, that is you, all right? The other person is healed first, all right? Then your own healing follows. Are you with me now? So I told him, call her to go for another test, all right? And then she went for the test, and then the condition was totally gone. Amen. Then he went for his own test also, and then the condition was totally gone. Hallelujah. I remember I was preaching in Lagos. Was that yesterday or day before yesterday? And God specifically told me to pray for somebody who had HIV AIDS. And I was, I was holding back. And the guy ran out. You could see. Ah, nobody runs to Jesus with tears and I return back with tears. When it comes to the healing power, there is nothing like incurable disease. Everyone who has been carrying the burdens of disease or sicknesses, I pronounce right now, be healed! Amen. I pronounce again, be healed! Amen. In the name of Jesus. All right, the video is still online. You can go and check the video. Um, ministering around Lasso. Was that this year or last year? The girl came out with a growth on her neck. All right, right before the camera, right before the camera, you see the growth shrinking. You see the growth. What about the, story, the, 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 the healing of that doctor? I was in church. Had some growth on his head. He's a doctor. He was shocked because he placed his hands there and he was seeing the thing shrink <laughs> under his hand. He was seeing it shrink. That's the healing power of God. There is nothing that he cannot do. There is no one that he cannot heal. Be healed! Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. See, those of you who used to sleep under, <laughs> under this kind of deliverance meeting, like this, where I commanded a sickness together. Right, let me share a story with you. Somebody is sleeping here. That's why I want to share the story. Okay? I will have shown you his face. <laughs> All right, this family, I will show his face. All right, I heard this story. I don't know how true it is. A white man went to a church, a deliverance church, fire church. See, somebody with hunchback was saying, Ah, I'm tired, I'm tired. Don't do how to sue me, how to sue me. Take it. The white man was looking, What's that? What's that? What's that? What was that? He just noticed that he was like he was carrying school bag. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> they were giving him bag. <laughs> okay, that's how the guy couldn't stand straight. All right, all right. Now nah, I'm not bringing a doctrine out of that. Don't get too serious. I heard the story also, so I don't know how true. All right, how true it is. <laughs> Praise God, Amen. But listen to this: God heals. Yes, look, look at the story of that boy in Kano. That there was a bomb blast, and one of those shrapnels. You know, when there's bomb explosion, sharpness are flying in the air, all right? Enter this head, okay? And in order for the doctors to bring it out, they had to surgic operate, him, operate on him. And um, in the process of doing that, he lost his ability to smell. Mm -hmm. He lost his ability to smell. And right there in that meeting, he began to smell again. Right there. Now, this also happened in London, but... People didn't know. There was a pastor who was seated with us in front. We got back to the lounge, the green room, only for the pastor to say that since 1980 something, he's not been able to smell. And now he's noticing he can smell. Okay? So the healing power of God is available here today. Amen? And I speak again to everyone who needs healing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed. God, God's healing power is always available. Are you with me? There's somebody. The the what side is this? So there's somebody here. The right eyes is gradually gradually getting condemned. There's, I'm saying there's somebody here with a right eye that is gradually getting condemned. This one is not. You have an issue. It's getting spoiled. There's somebody with a right eye. That is getting spoiled. If you are in, on YouTube, all right, just type I'm the one. All right, sometimes so you can know that these things are real, one. Number two, the power of God 
is able to bring the person out. God reveals to redeem. Are you with me? He reveals to redeem. Ah, I can share stories with you of strange healings. I shared the story with you of the boy that was deaf, that was dumb, that had mental illness. How about the story of the boy that was deaf, that was dumb, that had mental illness, and was blind? And the both of them got healed. Are you seeing that now? The both of them got healed. There is nothing that God cannot do. Okay, I'm seeing the person. Now, listen, open that eyes right now. Now, let me... Hold on a minute. Hold on. Look up. What is the difference between an, a, a normal hospital and a teaching hospital? In a, in a normal hospital, right, doctors administer whatever it is to the person we sick. In a teaching hospital, somebody is learning in the process. So let's take today, this morning, as a teaching hospital. Are you with me? Now, listen to this. The reason why people sometimes are able to pick certain sicknesses and are not able to get the result as such in healing is because people assume that once you pick a sickness prophetically, then automatically the person is healed. No. And that's why you will see that the approach of Jesus to different sicknesses already is different. To the woman with the issue of blood, she touched him. To the man by the pool of Bethesda, he said, pick your bed and go. To the man who has a withered hand, he said, stretch forth your hand. So the man who was born blind, he, he molded clay and molded on his eyes and said, go and watch. Go and wash it there. Are you with me now? Now, there are times that the Bible says that virtue went out of him, all right, and healed all those who were with him, who touched him. So there are different administrations when it comes to healing, all right? This person now who has the right eye that is, all right, get, get, get it spoiled, open that eyes. Close this one. Again, open that eyes. The light of God's power is entering into that eyes right now. Amen. It is quickening every dead cell. Every, now, thank you, Lord. Every tired nerve endings. There is one around, all right, you do feel some pain when, you are, when it is exposed to light. I decree and declare the name of Jesus that the light of God will enter now Amen. and be healed. Be healed completely. Amen. Be healed completely. Amen. Be healed completely. Amen. Be healed completely. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I'm, I'm supposed to be going somewhere this morning. All right, but I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm just sensing God asking me to administer, to pray for those who are sick. Everyone here with a form of sickness, I'm seeing a woman complain specifically. And I can't wait to go back to work. There's a woman specifically complaining that you can't wait to go back to work. All right, every form of sickness that you have now, now, all right, place your hands on that area now that needs the touch of God. Who is this person with consistently running nose? Despite the fact that there is it, your nose has been running. Type, I'm the one if you're the person. I'm seeing somebody with consistently, all right, running nose. Your nose, like it never gets dry. Are you with me? Who is that person? Oh, thank you, Lord. I stretch my hands towards you now. I command that condition dries up now. Amen. Now. Amen. Every person who needs healing, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed! Amen. I cause the root of sicknesses. I command the root to wither. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the root of every sickness to wither Amen. right now. I command the root of every sickness to wither Amen. right now. I command the root of every sickness to wither! Amen. Go and never return. Amen. Now let every body system, every body organ return back to the original design. Amen. And you are free again. You are healed. 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 That person with um, heaviness in the left breast, be healed Amen. in the name of Jesus, by the finger of the Lord, in Jesus' name. All right, I give you the next one minute. Just type your testimonies. All right, type it on all those platforms. Um, yeah, our people are there to gather everything.
All right, once you can see um, um, a testimony, yeah. Now, what, what the Lord brought to my spirit today, this fellow with lumbar spondylosis, you have not been able to stand straight. That's, of course, that's the symptom of that. When I give you instruction, do it now. Stand up straight and bend backwards. Yes, and that's it. Yeah. You couldn't do that before. Mm. So get up. Straight now. Straighten yourself. Mm. And bend backwards. Mm. Yes. And go back. And walk around. And check. Thank you, Lord. Mm. We give you all. Can we rejoice and give Jesus praise? Mm. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Once you can confirm... I want our team to check my Facebook page, all right, and then Facebook account, and then YouTube. Once you can confirm your testimony, all right, just type it there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Once you can confirm, all right, your testimony, all right, put it there. It may be difficult for us to pick, but once you can confirm it, all right, uh, we have our team everywhere now. On Mixeller also, I want someone there. All right, we're going to gather them together. Amen. Now, this is a testimony. For all right, I can't pronounce the many names. Said, I was having pain on my right eye. I can't read or drive at night at night but now I, I don't have those pain again all right that, that's that's an instant testimony now so i don't have that that pain again thank you lord thank you jesus let's give jesus praise let's give jesus praise oh thank you lord is that the way you rejoice thank you lord thank you lord oh thank you lord Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Once you can confirm your testimony, put it there. We'll see it. All right? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now, look at it. Yeah, this is a very powerful testimony. I am healed. said, my right eye had this pain that refused to go as a result of an accident. said, the edge, all right, of the carton pierced my right eye. But now, I don't feel the pain again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is somebody said, I can no longer feel the pain around the area I was operated on. It was there before this meeting started. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Somebody said, I woke up with abdominal pain as you prayed. I saw it disappear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Another person woke up with banging headache, saw it disappear. Praise God. <laughs> the man received healing. <laughs> Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, yes, yes, somebody saying that I'm believing God for healing my son of six years. He can't walk anymore. All right, um, scan confirm that he has brain tumor. Place your right hand on that boy's head right now. I pronounce that tumor gone. Amen. I command it to dematerialize Amen. now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 We give you praise. We give you praise. All right, send your testimonies. I'd be glad to read them. I'd be glad to read them. I'd be glad to read them. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right, so many testimonies already, but um, I can only read a few. Praise God. Is somebody excited this morning? For what the Lord has done. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we give you praise. 
We give you praise, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give God praise. Can we rejoice and give God praise, all right? So I want the media to gather those testimonies for me, all right? I want them to gather those testimonies for me, all right? And then we are going to share those testimonies. Oh, thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What's the condition that makes it almost impossible for this person to laugh without crying? Who is this person? I'm seeing a very strange condition where this person can't laugh without crying. All right? Uh, if you had, uh, it's difficult to pick you now because so many comments. All right? Somebody who can't laugh, if a fellow can't laugh without crying, I pronounce it is that condition is taken out now. It's taken out now in the name of Jesus. It's taken out now in the name of Jesus. It's taken out now. Amen. David remembered Saul. The Bible said in 2 Samuel chapter number 9, he began to inquire, is there anyone left? in the house of Saul, that I may favor him for Jonathan's sake. All right? Somebody has been in a condition, a young man called Mephibosheth, that was lame in his legs from birth. All right? So apparently he stood no chance as far as that time was concerned. But the hand of God came at the season and it was remembered for the sake of Jonathan. All right. The Bible also spoke about the time that the king could not sleep at night. And he opened the book of remembrance. And he saw all right, how that at one point that the king was supposed to be killed, somebody was there that God used to rescue him. And the king began to inquire, what can be done for a man who has done so and so and so thing? I decree and declare, your book of remembrance is being opened. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear that amen well amen. enough. Amen. Your book of remembrance is being opened. Amen. Your book of remembrance is being opened. Amen. Amen. I decree your book of remembrance is being opened. Amen. It doesn't matter for how long you have been hidden. So people are just shrouded in darkness. Nobody is remembering them. Nobody. They are alive but forgotten. They are breathing but forgotten. Your book of remembrance is opened Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your book of remembrance is opened. Amen. Your book of remembrance is opened. Amen. You will not be hidden. 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 In the name of Jesus. You will not be hidden. In the name of Jesus. You will not be hidden. In the name of Jesus. Now, let me, let me quickly read this powerful testimony. It said, God surprised me with a contract. When this week started, I was in debt, panicking and worried how, how I was going to pay back. It said, sales have been really slow. But I remember one of these days, a post will talk about how things will change for some people and their heaven will open. It said, we should, said we should praise God rather than being worried, which was exactly what I did. Someone reached out to me. And paid 20% of my debt and promised to pay another 20% next week. While I was still basking in that, a friend abroad paid me to cook for the less privilege and to crown it all. I got a contract that paid all the debt and I still have something back on. Say, so God is amazing. To God be the glory. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. That fellow who had pain. All right, in the upper left breast is already healed. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are the next in line to testify. I didn't hear you mention that. Amen. You are the next in line to testify. Amen. You are the next in line to testify. There was one time in Nigeria, what was raining was MMM. Do you know about MMM? Yes, there, there's an Hebrew word for it, Moku Mubemu Daro. That's, that's the Aramaic word. If you don't know what that means, it means you are not studying Greek and Hebrew well enough. Yeah. Somebody, one of my friends went to convince his dad. 
to join. The man is a lecturer who is, you know, a civil servant, just earning a small pay. That's how the boy convinced and convinced and convinced. He convinced the man for like two months. <laughs> the week the man finally agreed that he's going to do it. He agreed on Thursday. All right. MMM crash. He agreed also. MMM crash on Friday. The moment they put the family savings inside, the thing crashed. As you pray, be careful of wrong. The boy ran away. <laughs> You know, it was a case of if this thing should crash, just start running. <laughs> he ran. He ran. <laughs> he ran. He ran away. There are people who have lost their fortune in investment. There are people who have lost their fortune. That's why I don't do all those things. I know even if it was working before, if I joined to crash, it's not like my heaven is closed. <laughs> I just don't do it. I've studied my pattern enough to know that. I, 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 it's not for me. Be careful of quick money scheme. Invest 100,000 in the next one minute, reap 200,000. You did the first one, they credited you. You say, ah, this thing is working. You did the second one, invest 200,000, get 400,000. They credited you. Say, my God, you emptied your account, put 2 million, they block you. As you put 2 million, they just block you. You reach out to the person who has been speaking for ethics with you who said that they are here from United Nations to elevate poverty. That's how they cash out on the poverty. Be careful. Be careful. It is very easy to cash out on a poor man because people make poor decisions. Be careful. And those who have made bad decisions and are still regretting, I'm seeing people who went to borrow money to invest and the money crashed. You borrow money to invest in all this investment scheme. And then the money crash. God will bring you out of it. Ah, I didn't hear amen to that. Amen. God will bring you out of it. Amen. God will bring you out of it. Amen. God will bring you out of it. Amen. You will not die indebted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, let, let, let me beg us. Let's be careful. All this loan harp. Look at the way they now they they've they've look at the way they <laughs> they have now glorified loan apps. Are you with me? Young man, are you here? Okay. Look at the way they've glorified loan apps. Borrow money, dear bodies. You borrow small money now. You have not been able to pay back one week. They are sending messages to all your family and friends. That so so and so and so is an HIV AIDS patient who ran away from the hospital. Everybody should be aware of so and so and so person is a member of Boko Haram on top of 15,000 naira. Be careful of schemes that take you out of the process of faith. Be careful. All right? They just, you, you, until you have faith for finance, you struggle. And that faith for finance is tested in the ability to be patient. Are you with me now? It's tested in the ability to be patient. And sometimes you notice that once you get yourself into all this, it looks like help is closed from everywhere. Help is not coming. Help is not coming. Somebody is just trying to start life. You just touch maybe one million there. You want to go and put it in a scheme that is not certain to produce. I tell people, if you, if you don't get this all the time, put it in something that is sure. Not something, all right, I'm not against Forex and all those things. But you put it there and then they just tell you that um, somebody made a bad decision. <laughs> somebody, somebody made a bad decision. Uh, you know what that means. They will not tell you categorically that the money is going to say, well, what is that supposed to mean? Say, so you, you understand. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. I've seen people faint. I've, I'm telling you, somebody that say ROI twenty percent just came <laughs> and say so. Actually, actually, the fellow just say uh, uh, before they wake this person. I told you I was I was scammed. Me, I was scammed. Years back, I was scammed. I got a girl born again. I didn't know she didn't get born again very well. <laughs> she didn't give all her life to Jesus. She gave part. So the girl, 
agreed with somebody else, somebody not even outside, what do I mean? Somebody somewhere. And that's how they called. She said she was importing a good. They called me and said, hey, actually, we're bringing the goods down um, from, from the United States of America. The guy was speaking for ne? American English. Yahoo boys, are, they, are, they, are, they are good. They are good. They, if they put this brand or something else, they will produce. They are good. I don't know how somebody from, from Agbo. <laughs> okay, Agbo. You are from Agbo. <laughs> will be speaking for now like that. Or somebody from war. Don't let me mention anywhere. Hi, Mr. Lazarus. Hey, ah, American number. I said this American number. Say, why they were packaging the person's goods. That's how a wallet fell inside that contained $25,000. Ah, I had $25,000. Me that I was going through wilderness. I said, my God. What do you want me to do? Say, actually now the goods are landed in Nigeria and they have accosted the goods that they need some money to get the goods out because there's some money inside that um, once it gets to me, that um, it will permit me to take how much inside again? Um, I can't remember, maybe 5,000 out of the money. I said, well, what do you want me to do? I started speaking for that. What do you want me to do? <laughs> he said, well, if they, that they are requesting for a certain amount of money to, to clear the goods. I said, how much? He said, I said, it's a smart thing, smart thing, smart thing. Don't worry. I went to call one of the sisters in church, borrow money from a member. Years back. I was not the direct pastor of the church anyways, but I was part of the leaders. Borrowed money. I said, pastor, this is my school fees. I beg you in the name of Jesus. I said, please. I said, don't worry. I will even pay times two. <laughs> By my, with my own hand, I went to go and pay the money. But it didn't occur to me that the account I'm paying this money to is a Mary something. They, they, hey, I shall pay. They called me again and said, Hey, um, um, Mr. Lazarus, this, 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 uh, you know, we've passed to the first stage, the second stage, this, 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 another money. I said, I'm going to get another money for you. <laughs> I got another money. <laughs> Boy, with money. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Boy, with another money. Put it there. I was teaching in the primary school. That's how one day the number rang. They didn't know that they were calling me. And I was hearing the same brother, Mr. Johnson, that we are speaking for net together. I was hearing them talking on that underneath. Say, how far, how far that guy? How far that guy? How, how much you don't pay now? How that guy that mumu. I said, me. For over 16 minutes, the fool was on call. They did not know that they were on call. I felt like urinating, I was sweating, I was cold, I couldn't stand. I had planned in my head, once this money land, anytime I'm passing on the street and I walk with pride, that, okay, yes. Not that, that time, what were we thinking? We were not thinking much. Say, so, yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to rent all these shops here. We'll break them together. There'll be a barbing saloon. And then, yes, there'll be a place where people are watching ball here in the same place. Oh, yes, and then there can be an ice cream, this, that. I, I, I will, I'll pass, I'll be thinking about that. Brothers and sisters, that's how I was dismissed. <laughs> I saw that I've been scammed. The next time I called that number, blocked, switched off. Okay, the converts that I got born again that went to bring all these things, that's how we didn't see her again. Till today, I've not seen the girl. Whether she's online now, only God knows. I'm sure you have given your life to Christ if you're online. Very well now. That's how I was scammed. If you don't follow God and hear him, are you following what I'm saying? Even in the midst of what you call scarcity, they will scam you. And you get into a deeper problem. I'm telling you. You get into a deeper problem. Many people can no longer pick calls that they should pick. Avoiding calls, anyhow. Because once they pick one call, you, will, you are going to hell. Oh, you are. Anybody who is locked up in trouble, God is bringing you out. I decree that the mercy of God intervenes. Amen. The mercy of God intervenes. Amen. The one who brought me out of that trouble will bring you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By his mercy, there is intervention. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. By his mercy, there is intervention. Amen. By his mercy, there is intervention. 
by his mercy there is intervention. In the name of Jesus, receive your intervention. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. 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 I can share stories. You know, people just believe that pastors don't know what it feels like to be in their shoes. I, I've seen life. I've seen life. I've seen life. I've seen life. One time, one of my friend's elder brother, the wife, was going to start masters. They wanted to start the master, and that was how there was a strike. So they gave him the money that once school resumes, we should go and pay, should go and pay for the masters. We that were broke, we spend from the money. We spend 2,000 return back, 3,000 return back. Eventually, we just noticed that we spent 15K, we couldn't return 20,000, we couldn't return 10,000, we couldn't return 50,000, we couldn't return 6,000, we couldn't return. And that's how the brother just showed up suddenly with the wife that they found a way to pay for our school fees. That the money. Ah! <laughs> That's how I... <laughs> we're all dumbfounded. We didn't see it coming. That's how... He just blinked to me. Yeah, I started going to the back, was calling people. Please, how are you doing? Hello, how are you doing? Can I get some 5,000 out there, please? It's an emergency. <laughs> You know what that my friend said? That my friend told the brother and the wife. He said, let's go. The money is in the bank. He said, let's go. And they went to the bank. There are people that, even the devil we left from, they went to the bank confidently. I was asking, what are you doing? He said, don't worry. So there was a queue in the bank. He stayed on the queue. They sat down. The moment it was two people to get to his son, that's how he removed his phone and put the phone in his ears. Hello? Hello? Ah! What happened to the person? Yeah! Where? This, this, this. The brother said, what happened? What happened? He said, you, they are rushing themselves to the hospital. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's how he left. That was on a Friday. So we had Saturday, we had Sunday. <laughs> to look for the money. We had, we had Saturday, we had Sunday to look for the money. He escaped. The brother, was, the brother that was trying to get his money was not the one even calling and saying, hey, sorry, oh, this, this, this. Say, you know, we'll just come back on Monday. Let's just get it done on Monday. Between that Saturday and some Monday, we're able to. There are people that the devil shall learn from. When, I'm sure when he received that call and say, yeah, the devil will say, wow, wow. So you mean somebody can come out of this kind of <laughs> You will come out. You know, there are cases you look at yourself and you doubt if you can ever come out again. Every thought of your mind is, will I ever be free from this? But you will come out. Amen. You will come out. Amen. Let, me, let me give you this word of hope. You are not dying there. Yes, sir. And you will not remain there. You will come out. Amen. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not die there. Amen. You will not die in that fix. Amen. You will not die in that fix. Amen. You will come out. Amen. You will come out. Amen. God will bring you out. Amen. God will bring you out. Amen. You will come out. Amen. You will come out. Amen. You will not die in that fix. Amen. It will bring you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You will come out. Amen. Let me tell you this. Be strong and be courageous. Don't look down on yourself because of the situation. Don't. Don't. You will come out. Oh. So be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong, be strong, and be courageous. God who made the heavens and the earth will keep you in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. You will not fail God. You will not fail God. You will come out. Every indebtedness, every fix, every problem, every tribulation, it will bring you out with his mighty hand in the name of Jesus. You will come out. You will come out in the name of Jesus. Let me say this to you. Be, be, be courageous. Don't let this bend your back. Don't let it make you regret life and regret existence. God will bring you out Amen. in the name of Jesus. Now let me say this quickly. If you're under the sound of my voice and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, this is the best time to do so. Alright? 
the one who is not in Christ is in trouble already. Because if he dies, he's going to hell. Meanwhile, the provision of grace has been made. All right, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. There's provision of grace. What do you have to do? Believe in your heart that Jesus is Son of God. And he came to this world to die for your sins. And he died for your sins and arose on the third day for your justification. When you believe this, then you confess it. You confess his lordship over your life. Amen. If you are doing that, please place your right hand on your chest right now. Place your right hand on your chest. And say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe. Say it again, Lord Jesus, I believe that you came to this world to die for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. I also believe that you arose on the third day for my justification. Today, I confess you as my Lord and Savior, and I accept this gift of eternal life in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that the most important miracle has taken place, the most important miracle has taken place. The most important miracle has taken place. There's a contact on the screen, all right? 0903095975. 0903095975. You can send us a message and say, Apostle, I just gave my life to Christ. We'll be glad to get you discipled with immediate effect. Amen. God strengthens you and God bless you. Now I want to decree blessings over you. Let the hand of God rest upon you. You go forth in God's grace, in God's power. Every area that needs intervention, receive intervention now. Enjoy the fullness of God's favor. Enjoy the fullness of his mercies. Be blessed! In the name of Jesus. There's somebody who has been having diarrhea, going to the toilet frequently. It's done. It's, it's settled now. Be blessed. Let the hand of God rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. I pronounce healing upon you. In the name of Jesus. I pronounce healing upon you in the name of Jesus. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. When next I see you on Monday, it will be with testimonies, miracles upon miracles in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to wish you an amazing weekend. Um, I can't wait to see you again on Monday, all right, 6 a.m. Um, to 7 a.m. All right, and don't forget, if you're in the city of Abuja in Lagos, Sphere of Light Church is in all these places. We'll be glad to have you in church. All right, you can check up on our social media platforms. We'll be so delighted to see you in church. I can't wait to see you on Monday. Have a very, very beautiful weekend. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Come on, make it loud to your lover. Make it loud to your father. Don't wait for a song this morning. Lift up a sound to the lover. Lift up a sound to your father. If I be lifted up, I would draw men to me. Lift up the name of your God.
just love on your lover this morning. 